Spoiler alert, I like making commercials anyway. But this one, we've got live action, we've got a theatrical set, we've got stop frame animation, we've got cardboard models, we've got the lot. This is uh, shadow puppets. It's like having a great big puzzle to do with no picture on the lid. That's what makes it exciting. Our character was born really from the need to create a distinctive asset that would be, you know, be at the center of all our communications, really, whether it's TV or outdoor or digital, so that you know immediately who the message is from. And I figured a character with an M-shaped head, almost like little ears, almost like an M, you know, would immediately give us something really kind of ownable. Uh, and it would really help cement the new franchise name, EMR, too. One of the great pleasures of working with, with Mark Denton and the Atomic team was they absolutely pushed us out of our comfort zone. It was fair to say what we were presented was <laughs> very different to what you would expect from not only East Midlands Railway, but also I think from train operating companies. We wanted something that was very memorable, very distinctive and, and something that customers were going to remember over a long period of time. Here at Atomic, we root our brand strategies in the development and the belief that distinctive assets are more important than differentiation, as distinctive brand assets help create mental availability, which in turn brings a brand front and center and front of mind. The strategy for launching Miles in the public domain was all about reveling in the journey. A, we wanted to show that the EMI trains, you know, bring relaxed enjoyment on your day trip and, and get you to where you want to go faster. But we also wanted to show the benefits of taking the train over the car. Chatting with Mark, we came up with this idea of this theatrical type world, which would really bring that journey to life. Mark suggested we looked at this video by Bjork. So when Mark brought this to our attention, it, we just thought it's perfect. The set production, the budget was just out of this water. I thought to myself, can we really achieve this? Can we even get close? Um, and that was the most daunting and challenging sort of form ahead. Really cool to see um, an EMR staff member on set, especially with that, that sort of new uniform. Currently, this is a part of one of the options what I'm wearing, uh, the new uniform for East Wales Railway EMR. And I'm really proud to be wearing it. Being on set, it's very daunting to start with. I'm not an actress myself. Um, everybody else is sort of used to the environment but you relax, everyone's just so warm in, and you just become comfortable. I think the most surprising part of the process for me was seeing it all kind of come together. So um, the backdrops being separate to the actual on-set scene and kind of seeing it actually all lined up and built in together as the final product, it was very impressive. One of my favourite things yeah, is um, the Eros. Eros. Eros as a human painted. Yeah. <laughs> Um, with a pinging arrow, it, it just all sort of came together and it, and it gave it that extra little layer of tone that, which, which yeah, we would never have expected. Never expected, scripted, never expected when we scripted. We've made it even more fantastical with this theatrical approach. So it's kind of encapsulating the very best of the, the finest train journey you can have in 30 seconds. I guess our reaction to the ad concept, um, as with all Mark Denton jobs, was, was it's a bit bonkers. The bulk of this job was cleaning up, de-rigging um, and compositing things shot on chroma, but coupled with that was, was uh, you know, a, a cardboard cutout sort of build and also a, a projector effect and, and actually getting to grips with what a projector looks like on camera and how we could replicate that in post was was quite quite a big task my favorite part of it is is always when you when you get rid of the rods and stuff that's puppeteering because as soon as you do that then all of a sudden they come to life it didn't look like we you know we could get there we had to take a leap of faith thanks to working with atomic we took that leap of faith and we've got to the final sort of product and we're really happy with the end result. You know, I want to see what Miles does in London. I want to see Miles walking across the Peak District. I want to see Miles eating a burger at one of our food, you know, food markets in Derby. Miles is going to be around on the scene for a long time coming.